What's up everyone? This is Mini here and today I'm coming at you with one of my great games that I played in Ranked off stream. This was a game in my new Tier 9 DD The Black. And this is an interesting game because I made two major mistakes. But I managed to come back and still pull off one of my best games of Ranked ever despite the mistakes. So I liked I wanted to show this one to you so that you could see the strategy where I made mistakes and also how I brought it back. So as we look at this and the game starts, we're gonna see that, first off, looking at teams, we've got a Rupert, a Verdi, and a Musashi versus a Georgia double Musashi. So they have a battleship advantage. Now, the nice thing for me is that the Georgia is the only one with long range secondaries. So in a DD, that means I just have to dodge main shells for the most part, because it's not like I've got a Rupert running me down, but they do have a massive advantage in terms of battleships over ours. Next up, as we look at cruisers, they have an Alaska Beast, they have the radar advantage, and we have a Johan DeWitt. And then down at the DDs, we have a little bit of advantage because I have a radar and smoke, and then the Z46 has the long range hydro, but they do have a Kitakaze and a Nustrashimi, which will make this challenging. Other advantage for us is having KSC on our side, but there is this is a game where going into it I knew it was going to be tough because of the ability for their battleships to just rain absolute terror down on our team. So as we work in, we're going to head down towards A because we spawn that way, and you're going to see that I'm not going to have a lot of support early on. Z46 up north, Musashi up north, Johan going to lock in behind the island, Ruprecht and Verdi looking mid, but right now I'm by myself so I have to be careful. And so I'm going to head towards A, and if you want to see my black build, that is on YouTube under how I build it black, which is how I have my captain skills and module set. And so I'm going to wide drop a spread to try to play general area denial, and then I'm going to narrow drop a spread towards the edge of the island in case something tries to cheat down towards there. Now, after dropping those, we're going to sit to the edge because we want to get into A as late as possible to hopefully prevent getting early radar. We know that they have a DD and B. And we've seen their Georgian know that he is only three kilometers away from potential secondary range, so we got to watch out for that. We see that with RPF, their DD is moving north, which I love having RPF when playing a game mode like this where I need to know as much as I can. And now we've seen both their DDs. So with having both the Nustrashimi and the Kitakaze spotted, we know that we can dive into A because there is nothing here except for possibly an Alaska to stop us. We're going to take a look over there, but at 11.4 kilometers, we're going to stay dark and we're going to look to try to take A. And when they're up, drop twerps over there towards the stuff in B. But right now, we got to be careful. Now, as you can see in chat, this is me telling Z46 you need to get dark. The problem is the Z46 has taken a very aggressive line. And he is trying to get out of there, but he is going to get deleted, and now we're down a DD early on. They've also got B, so they've built 120 points lead. I'm going to drop the first set of Torps towards that Georgia. And at this point, I'm not going to lie, I was a little bit annoyed because I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm so close to ranking out of bronze because this was one of my qualifiers into silver. Um, and we've already lost a DD. So I look at the Georgia, and I'm like, do I smoke up and shoot him? No, I don't like how our team's pushing right now. Let's get this Musashi harassed off here. And this is honestly mistake number one. Because the reason this is mistake number one is I should be heading towards B. The Alaska's here, and he's backing up here. I should be sitting around here outside of B trying to drop torps and deny area control of C and such. But I choose to go after the Musashi and spend my time harassing him. So we're going to drop the torps that we have loaded onto him, and we're just going to go out wide on him because he's sitting down here. While it is the wrong play in my opinion, because I should have been north dealing with like the Nustrashimi that's going into B right now, um, with our team losing points, and at a 2-1 to one cap disadvantage, I wanted to airy deny this, and this was probably a little bit of a save a star play, right or wrong. So we drop the widespread there because we're not sure how he's going to move. And so we've got the two sets of torps coming on different angles at different times. And now we're going to say, you know what? He's sitting there. We're just outside of detection. We're going to keep roaming this way. But we're also going to get ready to look at opening up onto him and spamming him. And so we're going to start opening up and saying, you know what? You have got a lot of trouble if you want to try to kill me. I can just spam you down 
as I turn out here because you don't have your guns turned towards me. You have poor turret traverse. You're going to turn in towards me, hopefully take some torps because you do, and I can start burning you down. And so you're going to see we're going to hit the torp. We're going to open up he took one of those, and then as he turns, we're going to see that he is going to take a second torp because he turned into those. So we got 30,000 from the torp damage. And we brought him down to about two-thirds health, and we're continuing as we're at full health healer to just speed you. Now, mistake number two with this is look where I am. I am way out of position right now, if I'm being honest with you. I'm all the way down here. I should be cutting up this way to get to A. Our Rubric shoved forward, and he's close to dying. Their George is low, and I could have been dealing with him. And then our Giuseppe Verdi has to be the one to cap. So we forced the DCP out, and now I want the fire. We see he's made the turn. My torps are ready, so we're going to drop torps on his expected line, and we're going to keep backing up. And we see the Rupert goes down, so we're now down two ships, 40,000 health, and they're about to hit 600 points. And we take a little bit more damage, so we're going to use the smoke up to turn around and get ourselves stark, because I know he's still spotted. We also see that they've moved a DD into A because I've been so far away. So we're like, okay, I've really screwed the pooch on this one. i got to get back north here. And so we're going to continue to turn north, and you can see I'm executing the turn and continuing to slap the Musashi. We've got him down to 37,000, so we've done, I mean, 53,000 damage and change to a Musashi's not bad, but really, if I'm being honest, that's damage farming. And so now I come back. They've got three caps, even though only two are ticking. We watch our torps. I'm like, those torps aren't going to hit. He's going to have the turning line. So we're going to put some more shells out, try to get some fire on him. We see the Nustrashimi. We see the Musashi pushing up on our Johan DeWitt. And so we're going to continue, but now we've got to get dark and we've got to push into the cap. So we're going to continue to watch. We see the Alaska as well, and we see we got the fire. So we're just going to sit there, let that stuff tick, especially because I've got to get dark with an Alaska now attempting to hammer me. Problem solved, sir. So we're going to get dark. We are managing to dodge most of the Alaska shots that we still take 3k in damage. And now we've got to push in and take the caps. Our Musashi and our Verdi are in B, they've managed to take it, and they've got a really nice crossfire on the enemy Musashi, but we're still on a two-ship disadvantage, and they have both their DDs left. Even though their Georgian Musashi are very low. We're gonna drop Torps on the Alaska's predicted path, and the slight mistake there is I dropped them all on one spot. I should have spread them so that if the Alaska pushed in, I could still try to get at least one Torp, but that was a mistake that we made. So we're gonna push in here, and we're gonna look at A. And so, we see the Kitakaze, which means that I've got to get into the cap, and unfortunately, because I used my smoke over there with the Musashi, I can't open up on the Kitakaze with the Alaska there, because I will get smacked. So i got to wait the 20 seconds until I can safely open up on him. Fortunately, he misses the vast majority of Torps on our Musashi, and our team does kill off the enemy Musashi, so we brought it back to a one-ship disadvantage, still down 40,000 health. And now that I can smoke, we go dark, we finish taking the cap, and we can open up on the Kitakaze. And I love, love, love the black. And I have the advantage we came within my 7.5 kilometer range, so we're going to be able to open up and just slap him. And we're trying to save our Musashi because we know we need him alive. Especially with our Johan DeWitt having gone down, which means we had a grand total of three ships left. So Kitakaze starts to go down. He's at 4,200. We're going to try to finish him here. And as we kill him off, you see that our Musashi does unfortunately go down. And our last shot on the blind fire does get the Kitakaze. Now, we got to push in, and unfortunately we got an Alaska here. So we're saying, okay, he's turning around. That's a dead Giuseppe Verdi. Oh, got to dodge the Torps. And now I'm playing a one-on-four with them still having a... Nustrashimi, an Alaska, a Georgian, and a Musashi alive. So we're going to turn in here, and then we're going to turn, and we're going to continue just firing torps. So we're going to drop torps on the edge of that island, trying to play area denial in case stuff comes out that edge. And now we're going to get into B, because I need to fight at B, because otherwise they're going to take the cap really quickly on us. So we turn in, we're playing time. This could be mistake number two right here, is the fact that I'm pushing in, 
with 59 seconds left on my smoke and 21 seconds left on my radar, but I also don't have a ton of time to spare. And so we get spotted, and now we've got to open up on the new Strashimi. And here's where I get really lucky. I'm getting slapped down. The Alaska has radared me, but those torps are in a beautiful position. I've got radar up, and I even stop shooting at the Neustra here because I torp the Neustra out, and then I'm watching this, and this is one of the most excited times I've ever had in the game because I'm watching those in, and we get the Dev Strike, Double Strike, and High Caliber off of killing the Alaska. And so we're at 127,000 damage, but we're still down 300 points. I've still got a Dodge Torps, and we're still down a ship. And it's just me left alive. And I have no clue where that Georgia is besides RPF. This is another reason why I like RPF and ranked and such. Is because this is helping me know exactly where the Georgia is coming from. So we're going to take B. We're going to sit dark here. We know we have to move up to C. but And we have the smoke. So we can always smoke up and farm the Georgia. But we have to be very careful here that we don't get killed. So I'm trying to use the smoke screen for cover. And we're going to continue to just work around the edge of it so we stay dark. We see the RPF change, so we change our guns. And we're going to immediately smoke up with our last one and use that to try to slap out the Georgia. Probably, honestly, a little early on the smoke. Because I have no way to use it and my shots are no longer hitting. So at this point, I've got to go forward and find the Georgia. And since the Georgia has DCP'd my fire, he's no longer ticking and he's now in B. So I've got to go for it and I've got to spot him. And he is going full Mel, which means full speed for me and a hard turn to take get into C, but also try to deny B. Because if they take B, that's going to give that Musashi even more time. And I see that Georgia going down. So we're going to pop the radar. We see where he is at health-wise. And we're going to try to sit here behind the islands and not get spotted by the Musashi. First salvo misses, second salvo right on him, but only one pen. Third salvo, couple more pens. And now the secondaries and Musashi guns are out on me. And we're like, I need this kill, I need this kill, I need this kill. We get the fire, and that's the kill. And we back up, which will get us dark, but we've only got 1600 health. And we now have four kills and 134,000 damage. So at this point... We've got two caps, we're only 100 down. I'm gonna take the third cap. And coming up is where you will see my second major mistake that was really dumb. So we see the Musashi spamming at us. We're taking the cap and then my game plan, as you can see, is I'm going to dive out south, go through here, and I just wanna keep him from taking caps as much as possible. And then we're waiting to see what the Musashi does. We don't have the health to take attack, so we're just trying to spam him down with Torps. And so we're going to come over here to this gap where I can still see him as he goes into A. And we're just going to play time because there's four minutes left in the game and we have just taken the lead. And so he's going to take the cap is his goal. And then he's going to try to cut up to B. Because honestly, he doesn't really have an easy way to find me if I don't get spotted. And what I should have done here is I absolutely should have just started running away. But I decide to keep spamming shells down, go dark, get out of detection, pop some more defended flags, get a couple hits, not really a lot of damage. But we've reset him, we peek back out, we look, he's looking towards us, so we're going to adjust and drop torps, which I should have really set up the better line of torps. And then we're going to start going forward and spam him as I go out of detection. And unfortunately, we don't get any hits there. So he's now taking that cap. And here's where I make the mistake. There's no need for me to stick around at this point. We have two caps to one. Even if he gets into B cap at this point, he's not going to tick it over fast enough to win. So I should just be running. I've dropped torps. I'll drop the last set of torps here. And then I should just be running for the edge of the island. But... This is where I get greedy and almost completely screw up the game. So we're gonna take the uh we're gonna take the line, we're gonna look for him, we're gonna drop the torps, we see where he is, we know we've missed the first set of torps. We've got that set. We're just playing the spotting. I'm like, okay, those torps aren't gonna hit unless he turns in. We've gone undetected, he has a pretty good idea where I am. And he's I'm still thinking I need to keep resetting, which I really shouldn't. We had 34 points to go, and with two points every three seconds, this game is over. 
but I back up here to look for another set of torps and to consider spamming him. I have the torps ready. I'll drop the torps because I know he's going to turn in. He just fires something I'm like, you know what? I can open up for a bit. So we'll spam the shells out here. We'll spam the shells out. Get a couple defense ribbons. Prevent the cap take. And just keep blind firing based off where he was. And now we back up to spot again. And bear in mind, once again, I'm doing this with 1600 health. And here is the moment of, oh shit, I may have just screwed up. Because I've got all of these shots coming in at me as I backed up because he blind fired. And we're going to slow this down just so you can understand how bad this could have been. So I'm just like, oh please, don't hit me with two, don't hit me with two. And you can see the shells... You can see the shells here, if we pause, you can see how close those shells are to hitting me. I take that one shell, the other shells go over the top of me. That was uncomfortably close, because if he had hit those, I would have been dead. And so he hits one, I have 471 health left, and I will hit the DCP and I'll tick it out with him not with it taking 134,000 damage, double strike, dev strike, high caliber, and the solo warrior. This game ended up being 2,700 base XP, but this is proof of how close I came to throwing that away. And a reminder that even when you think you got it, be careful and play smart. Anyway, hope you guys liked the video. Don't forget to like the video and make sure to subscribe to my channel to help me keep making great content. And as always, this is Mini, signing off.